Hey guys, it's Brett Secor with the Secor Group here at Keller Williams. Today we're going to be going over buying a home and the four demands for you to make on your real estate agent. All right, guys, welcome back. And today we're going to be discussing four demands to put on your real estate agent as a buyer. Um, so the first one that we want to talk about is uh, having your agent tell the tr truth about price. Uh, we see it a lot where agents will um, you know, allow you to, to kind of lowball the offer or kind of go in at a lower number, which, which is totally fine if that's your goal. But a lot of times it's going to end up uh, making you either pay more for the property in the long run or um, if it does go to a bidding war or you just lose the property altogether. So, you know, definitely make sure your agent understands the market and is going to tell you what you need to go in and offer wise uh, to have a strong offer and be competitive and maybe lock it up before it even gets to the bidding war. Another big thing is understanding the timetable in which your family is dealing with. Um, if you need to close in 60 days, 90 days, making sure that your agent understands that you need to be in contract you know, 60 days prior to when you actually need to move in. And we have a lot of leases coming up. We have people juggling the sale of their other home as well. So just relay that message and make sure that they stick with that timeline. Uh, remove as many as the challenges as possible. That's an important one as well. We could have appraisal issues. We could have home inspection issues. Uh, you want to make sure that your agent understands how to negotiate through those to get you to the closing table as smoothly as possible because it is such a big uh, purchase. So, And then finding the right house. Guys, don't rush it. Um, I know when my clients find the right place, they walk in, they love it, they're ready to put an offer in. And then I also see clients too sometimes that feel like they just need to buy a home they want to get it over with. Um, so you know, be patient. If you have to go month to month on a lease or whatnot, uh, you know, be patient and don't feel like you're getting forced into a home that you don't want to buy. So definitely relay that to your message. And if you guys have any questions, here's all my contact info. Feel free to reach out.